Ugh, it's 4.30 a.m. What could possibly be so important this early in the morning? In the Dragonlands, it is 3.30 in the afternoon, which means that the news from there is now instead of later. Coffee. <coughs> oh, what kind of coffee is this? I suppose I might have burnt it a little bit. Right. Let me actually make it next time. Yes, but I recognize how much you like your, um, beauty sleep. How did you possibly sleep through all this excitement? I'm getting to meet for the first time since the apocalypse a real-life dragon lord! <laughs> you mean dragons that often threaten and eat ponies as well as hoard large amounts of valuables for the sake of personal growth into a greed-filled monster? Hmm. I wonder how the dragon lord is doing then if our gracious overlord s saw fit to send our weather pony there. He, um, is, uh, strangely not doing well. He appears to be semi-conscious and what I can only describe as emaciated, as well as being completely unavailable for an interview. Wait. Our benevolent overlords sent you halfway around the world to interview a dragon who is in no condition for an interview? That seems like a rare miss. Weather Pony, can you tell us of the Dragonlands right now? Well, technically, they aren't really the Dragonlands anymore. The dragons aren't here, mostly. Mostly? Well, you know the whole Balefire thing and the awfulness of lack of ponies, griffins, and or other creatures from which to eat and prey upon? You cannot be serious. Well, they did find that other dragons apparently taste like venison. And they found this out about each other when they finally got desperate enough. <laughs> I see. I never expected to know what a dragon tasted like, much less for our benevolent overlords to give me a craving for dragon meat. We're ponies. You know that, right? Herbivores. We eat plants. Technically. But you will find ponies can eat meat, if they have to. And honestly, right about now, hmm. I kind of want to. So after that it became survival of the fist, and the only one who was immune was the Dragon Lord. But he's um well uh... Ooh, hello there, Mr. Dragon! What's your name? Oh, that is extra crispy. You know, I knew I tasted good, but I never thought that perhaps deep burned by dragon fire would make me smell like I could taste better. You do realize I don't know if that's technically cannibalism, if you eat yourself, right? Hey, uh, gracious overlords, can you answer that for us? Apparently, according to our benevolent overlords, the eating of oneself doesn't actually count as cannibalism, because it requires the eating of another sentient creature. So no, our weather pony is still in the clear. Good to know that so long as he's just... Why do we keep pronouncing cannibalism that way? Also, this discussion about the weather pony, well, that brings up a whole nother set of questions concerning if... You know... As fascinating as this conversation is for our viewings and even myself, I do believe I'm about to be, you know, too crispy for- So the dragon that is eaten... Uh, you uh, seem to have lost control of your figure there, big dragon. Oh my, uh, a dragoness who looks like a chungus of a house cat with scales, aren't you? <laughs> That's odd. I know. Usually he dies in some way that makes a ton of noise and ruckus. As well as a lot of him saying things that are seemingly extremely vicious, yet benevolent, overlords have to censor out. This has to be the quietest, 
least graphic way he's passed on that we've ever had on air. I think this is a moment for us to reflect upon. <laughs> oh god, it burns! It burns! Why is it so hot in here? How am I alive? Why am I still breathing? Just to suffering upon this earth! What is wrong with this? Why is this grammarly incorrect? How is this microphone working? I need divine intervention! Celestia! Lunar! Cerebus! Discord! Whatever the hell Flurry Hunch does! Anyone! I will worship you forever if you just get me out of here! <laughs> ah. <laughs> there it is. Well, I think that is enough from here. But, um, we are going to need another weather pony again. And he should be arriving here soon. <laughs> Shall I? Allow me. You heard it here, folks. Remember that when you interfere in the affairs of dragons, you are tasty, crunchy, and apparently go good with hot sauce. And remember... We'll be in touch. So you can be less touched. We're starting to make a good team. Hmm. Why do I smell a barbecue? <laughs>